So we're glad that the Lord brought him through all those times of trial in his life. And now he's restored him. He's already restored, but he's continuing to restore. Amen. Amen. We're glad to have him here with us tonight. I just want him to come on. He knows he's at home. I just want him to come on. Clap your hands to the Lord. Closed in, 
and surrounded with spirits of discouragement and, and fear and worry. And uh, if it would not be for, and I am not stretching this, if it would not be for the thousands of saints of God who prayed for me, I would not have pulled through all of that. Amen. And the voices, the voices among that thousand that were raised right here from this church. Amen. I've just come back to thank you for what you did. God heard the cry. Anybody noticed me turning around and looking around uh, during the worship service? Now I was worshiping God, but uh, you know my pastor told us. He said the Bible says, "Watch and pray." Well, I believe in watching and praising too. <laughs> so I was, I was praying and watching. I was praising you and watching you. And I was looking out across this congregation. And I began to count up. I began to count up the years that I have known so many people around here because of the years of preaching in, in I think, seven different churches in this area. And some of you I've known either close to or over 30 years now. Amen. And what a blessing this part of the country has been to my ministry. And, uh, I love this part of God's beautiful earth. Amen. Praise God. There's some good Amen. people in this area. And um, when the trumpet sounds, there's going to be some good people rise right here. Amen. To meet him in the air. Praise God. And I used to pray years ago, Lord, would you please give me a church in Southern Tennessee? Amen. But he didn't do it. For some reason, he didn't do it. But it'd be all right with me if he decided to come back while I'm visiting Southern Tennessee. Praise God. Because this would be a good place to go up from, wouldn't it? Well, aren't you glad you live here? Thank you. Thank you, my friend, Pastor Graves. I love Brother Graves and Sister Graves. This church. You may give honor to all the ministry that's here tonight. And uh, you are special to me. And I give honor to Brother Weatherford. And uh proud of Brother Weatherford. And, uh, I preach about him all over the country. And the miraculous work that he's done for God. And, uh, I appreciate him very much. Amen. And so many of you, and I'm not going to call any other names because I don't want anybody to think I don't like them for some reason. And, uh, because that would be a lie. Job, the book of Job. Job with sore oils. 
you say sore boils from the sole of his foot into his crown we would say it like this from the top of his head to the soles of his feet and he took him a pot shirt that's a broken that's broken pottery and he took him a pot shirt to scrape himself with and he sat down among the ashes. Then said his wife unto him, Dost thou still retain thine integrity? Curse God and die. But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of a foolish woman speaketh. What? Shall we receive good? at the hand of God and, and shall we not receive evil? In all this did not Job sin with his lips. Amen. Amen. In all of this did not Job sin with his lips. Praise God. And those of you who know me know that there are times when I don't give a title to my message because so many times my messages are, are so simple and it's so shallow that if I give you the title, Amen. it'll just give the whole thing away. <laughs> so if you'll bear with me, I'll give it a little later, all right? Amen. Praise God. Pastor Graves, would you, would you pray to me? Say in Jesus' name. God bless you. You may be seated. Thank you for standing. Now I do believe that this was at least the second time that Satan went far from the presence of the Lord with glee, with joy, with happiness, and with excitement. Because this was the second time that God gave Satan liberty to do what he so desired to do against one of God's faithful ones. This was not because God did not love Job. And this was not because God did not Respect the life that Job lived for him. But this was because God so trusted Job that he knew that Job would be a tool in his hands to bring glory to his name and to give the devil a black eye. Praise God. Amen. I want us to do something right quick right now. How many of you remember a time that you wondered why it was that God was allowing the devil to do what he was doing to you? Amen. But tonight you understand that because you remain faithful, because you kept on praising him, because you kept on living for him, that you became one that gave him glory, and you gave him glory. taking place and the situation is at its worst and the problem always seems to be getting deeper and greater and stronger and when the pain begins to intensify and the confusions begin to surround our minds at that moment 
At that moment, it's hard to have faith. In that moment, it's hard to believe. In that moment, in that moment, it's hard to trust. Oh my God. Because it is a moment of weakness. It is a moment when Satan is encouraged by our weakness. He is encouraged to bring on the attack even greater than what he was doing in the beginning. Amen. For you see, God had told Satan, you can touch everything that he has, but upon him lay not your hand. Amen. Amen. And after Satan had done that, Joe still remained faithful. I said, Joe still remained faithful. And so now Satan needed something else. And he had something else. He had permission now to touch, to touch Job. And he didn't only touch him, but he took advantage to smite him. Amen. Amen. I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, it didn't hurt my feelings when Mama smoked me. I mean, when Mama touched me, what it did when she smoked me. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Amen. Amen. Well, the devil has less mercy than mama. Although sometimes it didn't feel like it. <laughs> Praise God. I, 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 I lost my mother this past January. And she, she made it till the day before her 92nd birthday. And she went out in her sleep during nap time. My brother who pastors in Louisiana called me and told me that our mother had just passed on. And my words to him were, our mother just gained the victory. Amen. Amen. And so I'm thinking about her a little bit. I'm not disrespecting her. I give her great honor. Praise God, a praying mother, a godly mother, an example of godly living and, and truth loving. Praise the Lord. And so I said that not against my mother. Amen. Amen. But I want you to know that Satan takes every advantage that he can take against us. Because he not only hates our God, but he hates us for serving our God. Right. That's the right. truth. And if he can do anything to put a wedge between us and our God, he's going to do it. If he can cause any form of mistrust or resentment in us to cause us to even somewhat be against our God, He's going to do that. Because if he can get a if he can get a foot in the door, if he can plant a fault into our mind, oh my. If he can, if he can put a little doubt against God into our thinking, a little mistrust in our spirit that gives him faith to believe that far on down the road we will eventually turn against our God. But I want him to know tonight, devil, I'm letting you know ahead of time. He has never done me nothing but good. I said he has never. I said he Thank you. 
your Savior. He was good to me. Oh, and I thought he lost the world. He was good to me. Did you ever have any questions? 
but she was saying to him was Job. I've lost it all. Job, I have nothing. Job, I've lost my past. I've lost my present. And I've lost my future. I don't have a house to live in. I don't have children to lean on. Looks like I might lose the only thing that was stable in my life. Because I might lose you. And Job, I just need to know. Can I depend on you? I need somebody to look up to. I need somebody to lean on. I need, I need somebody to support my faith. I need somebody to give me courage. I feel the Holy Ghost so powerful right now. I need somebody that I can trust. That. And I just need to know that it's still going to be that somebody. I tell you somebody that somebody is watching you. Somebody is looking up to you. Somebody is depending on you. And it's still going to be for God. In the face of the adversity. There is somebody know new life that God made me. We've been married over five years now. But when I preached her the first time, I was in the midst of grief and sorrow and loneliness and emptiness and fear of the future. But God If the devil can get us to lose a grip Come on. 
of our integrity. He'll cause us to lose a grip on our testimony. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. He'll cause us to lose a grip on being able to be the example that somebody else needs. That's right. That's right. Now I have preached from these scriptures many times, but never have I zeroed in on where I am right here and right now for some reason. But God knows what he's talking about tonight. I feel like I'm talking to somebody. The enemy's discouraging you. The enemy's trying to make you think like it's over in some areas in your life. You know why? Because he knows who is watching you. And he knows if he can get to you, then he can get to them. Because sometimes we're the only thing that's standing between somebody and destruction. I hope this is encouraging somebody to keep on holding on. Amen. As a matter of fact, that's what I'm going to title this tonight. Job, just keep on holding on. Because Job, this isn't about you. This is about your wife. And Job, you've got friends that may forsake you for the moment. But Job, down the road, they're going to need you. And if you'll just hold on, you'll still have power and influence with God where you'll be able to pray for them. That's right. Amen. That's right. Come on. Praise God. If you'll just keep holding on, there's going to come a time, Job. God's going to want to chastise them. But you're going to have the strength and you're going to have the authority and you're going to have the clout with God. So pray. Keep on holding on. Mm. Before this is all over, or before your life's over, Job, there's going to be a new, there's going to be new children born into your household. Come on. Amen. That's going to give you and your wife a new future. Praise God. Job, you haven't seen for better years. Since Job, you haven't seen for better years. It's going to be twice as good as what you have. Positions, would you come, please? And I want to encourage someone tonight. Just keep on holding on. We used to sing a song when I was a child. We actually sang it in the children's choir when I was 10 or 11 years old. And some of you elders may have heard this song years ago. And I can only remember one verse. I guess it's because it was the verse that I sang. But it simply went like this. And I'm not going to sing it, but I'll give the words to it. Now, when you see old Satan coming around, knocking at your door, Say now, look here, Satan. Get out of my way. And don't you bother me no more. Because I'm going to keep on holding on. 
Amen. I'll keep on holding on. The devil may try to turn me around, but I'll keep on holding on. Why? Because I've got to make it. Because someone is watching me. Why? Because the devil wants to hinder my future. Why? Because God has greater things to me. Why? Because
Yes, sir.
Thanks, Brother Wilson, for obeying the Lord today. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Good word. Good word. Yes. Amen. The Lord has spoken. He spoke to our hearts tonight. That's right. He's also spoke to our endurance. Are you going to make those few more miles? We just got a few more miles to travel. The Bible says this life is but a vapor. We just got a few more miles. Let's keep on. Let's keep on. Let's keep on. Hallelujah. Let's pray the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I pray now that it will be guarded. Lord, it will guard it. The devil cannot touch this word. He cannot take it away from us, Lord. Not off the ground. Be kind. Lord, I'm thankful for all of your people, for all of your for all the influence that you put in our lives, Lord. And I'm thankful for men of God who will come and speak what you have to say. And Lord, I ask you to bless them mightily in it and for it, Lord. And Lord, I ask you now to just bless each and every one in this house, Lord. Bless them as they go to their respective places. And we're thankful for them, Lord. We're honored to be friends. Lord, we ask you now to cover us all in the blood of the blood of the Lamb. With the prayer of faith, or the shield of faith.